Hello lovelies, my name is Chelsea May and I speak about life as a Christian woman who loves the Lord, helping you to dig deeper into your faith and grow in your walk with Christ. Today we are talking about the pros and cons of getting married in college or maybe just getting married young. I got married at the age of 20 and my husband was 22. I am now 25. My husband's 27. So we've been married for about five years and we truly have learned a lot in all of those years. But I wanted to focus on the getting married in college part, which is just going to go hand in hand with being young because typically you start college when you're younger, typically not always. But our whole marriage has been the college story. Okay. So I think we've maybe had one year, maybe a year and a half at most, but I'm going to say we've had about a year where neither of us were in college, but for the rest of our marriage, we were either both in college or one of us were still in college. And so when we got married, we were both still in our undergrad at that point. And I actually was starting my master's the next semester. And so we definitely did the whole like brand new college thing and marriage thing when we were young and together. Okay, so I typically start with cons and then go to pros, but this time I really wanna focus on the pros before we get to some of the cons. The first pro that I would say, and this is very much speaking from a Christian perspective, is that when you get married, you don't have the temptation to sin sexually, right? That temptation, more than likely, I don't know who it hasn't been there for. I feel like it's for every person. If you love a person and you're around them all the time, you're going to be attracted to them. And naturally that comes with wanting to do more. But we know that in Christ, we are to save ourselves for marriage and that we are to be holy and glorifying to the Lord. And that is not sex before marriage. And so getting married, a huge pro is that you just don't have that stress or you don't have that big temptation there. You don't have to put up as many boundaries and all of that. There's, you can just enjoy one another because you're married. And I know for my husband, he felt like when we got married, that was just like, not just that, some other aspects as well too, but that was just a huge weight off of his shoulders. He just felt like it made things in life so much easier and I would agree too. And so that definitely is a top one. Now that's not the only reason to get married while you are in college. You definitely have other things to consider and to think about. But for us, that was a really big good pro and one of the reasons we did get married sooner than later because we just wanted to honor God in our relationship. Another pro is that you just get to grow with this person through so many life stages. We are only five years in, but I can already look back and see man, do you remember when like only one of us had a job and it was for two days a week and we were both in college? Like, how did we survive that? And so as we get older and go through more life stages, there's just so many pivotal, big, fun moments that we get to look back on and say, man, I was 21 when we did this, or I was 22, you know, and we paid off our first car together, whatever it may be. That may not be the right age, but we did pay off a car together while we were still young and married. And so there's just lots of life stages that you get to go through together and grow together. And I truly think that helps deepen your connection with one another because you've been through so much life together. This also just comes with um, living with your best friend. You have like a built-in best friend, a built-in buddy. You have someone who you know is going to be there for you no matter what. Marriage is a lifelong commitment. So if you are married, you know that your person is there and that they're going to support you and be there with you through every moment. I had a lot going on when my husband and I got married. Um, just a lot of transitions. Not everything was bad. Um, some was bad and some was good, but one of the things was like my stepfather, he passed away. And I was so grateful and thankful to God that I had a husband who was there for me to help walk me through that extremely hard time of just losing someone that you really love. And so there are other moments like that that just make me so grateful that I already had my husband there with me to really just help support me and love me during harder times. And then also it's just fun. You have a best friend, like I said, you just get to do life together. And so it's a lot of fun to get to do life with your person and not stress. <laughs> Some people may not stress. A lot of girls do though, let's be honest. Stress about like finding like the one or seeing a cute guy like, oh, should we date? Should we talk? I'm gonna try to go to him. Like, could he be my husband? All this, like, oh, I just wanna be married. All this, like all these thoughts are like gone from your head once you are married because you know, not that you've just found your one, but like, 
Like that's your person once you are married. Even if you're engaged, I know people who have let go of the engagement and not gotten married anymore. And so there's no security in that either. But when you are married, you're like, okay, this is my person. We can do life together. I don't have to stress about thinking like, oh, what age am I gonna get married or what this? Or like, you can just relax and enjoy that time with your spouse. So another pro for us, which this could be different for your situation, but financials actually were very doable together. Depending on which, if you have roommates and everything, may have multiple roommates and it may not help. But for us, I feel like financials were stable enough when we got married and because we were married and basically made like nothing, we got a lot of help from FAFSA and financial aid and grants that helped us pay for college and then it also um, gave us a little bit extra money. And so for us, getting married actually made school cheaper <laughs> because the government was like, whoa, they need help. And we did and that was a blessing. And I know this one may be a different one, but honestly, I always say the hardest challenge in marriage is being selfless, like giving up more of yourself for your spouse because it should be that way and you don't realize how selfish you are until you have a spouse and they do things completely differently or they grew up differently. Now you're having to compromise or stop doing things a certain way because you need to serve your spouse, whatever it may be. And so I don't know if this is true, but I just assume in my head that <laughs> if you get married younger, you have less solid routines and things like set in motion versus if I were to get married when I was 30, I think I would have had a harder time in marriage. Now God works through you in your life. So maybe this wouldn't have happened. But I just think if I would have gotten more used to being independent, doing things my way in the set way, and then getting married later on, I think it would have been a little bit harder for me to continue or to continue to be selfless in my marriage because I at that point would have had a lot longer of doing things my way how I want to not asking anyone about anything it's all based on me um and I think getting married young helped break me of that young I didn't realize how much I was focused on me and my needs and what I want until I got married and so I definitely think that's a pro of getting married young is that it just helps you to be more selfless to give more and to allow God to grow you through that young marriage and yes you still have a lot of maturing to do but God can use that to grow you in beautiful ways so those are my pros now I will go into the cons I will say um, for you who are thinking like should I get married should I not get married in college these are my pros and cons, but I don't think there's necessarily a right or wrong answer. If you pray about it and you ask God and you feel like he's given you the go or you have peace, if you're to get married young then or in college, like that is okay. Now, do consider some of these pros and cons seriously because they do hold weight to them and it's gonna change your life a lot whether you choose to get married young or older it's, it's going to change everything. To be married or not to be married are two different lifestyles, completely different. And so you want to consider and think about all of those, but there's not really right or wrong. I think you should weigh these decisions, but I think if you weigh them and you pray about it, you can't go wrong. Okay, getting into some of the cons. Some of the cons I wouldn't have known until I got married and experienced them. And so I hope that this can be helpful for some of y'all who are trying to make this decision or just maybe you've already decided to get married and you just want to know how to have better expectations. One of the top cons I would say was my expectations. I thought that us getting married meant that we would see more of each other. But because we were in college, and we were getting closer to my husband entering his junior year of engineering, which was his hardest, most busiest year. There were a lot of days where like we'd go all day without seeing each other. He'd come in super late or he'd be home, but he'd have to be studying the entire time. And so that was really hard for me in the beginning because I just didn't understand. I was like, okay, we're married. We are supposed to be seeing each other more, hanging out more, having all this more time together and it was not that way and so I was let down and that was something we definitely had to work through because it was a very busy season for us and I don't think I would have had those expectations if we were just dating but because we were married I expected more I expected to see more in all of this but it just 
we couldn't. Like, he had to get his college degree so he could get a job, and we just had to learn how to work through things. And not only that, but when you are married, and this can kind of go with what I was just talking about, but you're not just focused on school now, you're focused on your spouse. What makes your spouse happy? How to help them if they're mad, how you work through conflict resolution, all of these things. And so it's a really good thing, but it can be an added stressor. And so I'm trying to think, it's just hard because everyone is so different, but maybe if you were like super high stressed about school, I don't know if marriage would be the best option for you because you have to learn the other person. You have to learn how to live together, how to love one another well, and you will be doing that your entire life. But if you're already at the max of being stressed, it might be a little bit harder to get married in that season. And maybe you should wait if you're able to. Um, like I said, it just depends on your type of personality. Just know. And I, I put this as a con, and cons don't necessarily mean negative, just like these are a little bit more struggles or things that you're going to have to work through on top of college. And so if you have a spouse, you're going to have to be thinking about all things of your spouse, your schedule, asking them, um, okay, like, can we spend money here and all of that, where you're just not used to that before. Families, meeting new families, getting to know them, going to family Thanksgiving, Christmases, all of that is just going to be more to your schedule. And so think about your schedule and what you have going on and know that it's going to be busier when you add a spouse to that picture. I also say this is a con. I Some of this, like, I don't necessarily feel like what I just explained is a con, but it's something to think about. As I, I enjoyed being able to focus on my husband and our marriage, but it did bring some struggles. And so if you just don't want to have that yet, then maybe wait. But if you're able to take that on, then it's still a beautiful thing. I know I said financials were a pro. Financials, depending on where you are, could also be a con. Because if you have parents paying for things, more than likely when you get married, they're not going to be paying for things. I would assume that's how it works because you're, you should be your own adult, especially when you're getting married and choosing to make that decision. And so financials might be more strained if you had had help and now you don't get any more help or if you would have to like take on another job, whatever that may be, because you're supporting yourself, that could definitely be a con. But really my rule of thumb when it comes to getting married, like if you, if y'all can support yourselves together, and it's not like a high, high stress, it's not like you're living off, you know, $5 a week, then I say go for it. It's fine. Like, it's as long as you can make ends meet. But if you're like, I just love them so much, but I am in nursing school, and he is in nursing school, and there's no way we can get a job, maybe we could work five hours each, and there's just like no way to really come up or figure out how you're going to live, then I would say wait until you have a stable income. Not even stable, but enough to live. But other than that, if you can both pay for rent together and food and you're already doing that yourself, more than likely you'll be able to do that when you're married and it's fine. Okay, so the last con before I conclude kind of everything I've been saying is friendships. This was really tough and this has to do with the whole getting married young and in college and should you get married? I wouldn't say I would change how things went, but there are times both me and my husband have felt like we wish we had a little bit more time with friendships before we got married. Not because we didn't love our marriage, each other, or any of that, but because we wished we had formed a little bit more friendships before getting married because when you get married, things change. Yes, you can still be friends with your single friends, but let me just tell you, it's just different. It's different if you're married and you're with a single person. It's definitely different if you're married and then you get pregnant or have a kid and they're single people <laughs> living life. Like, those are two different lifestyles. And so when we first got married, like I said, I was 20. And so we could no longer be in our college group because we were too married to be in college, the college group at church. But then when we went to married groups, it's like, we just felt like we were too young to be in these married groups. Now, this is where we are. Maybe you have a church who has young married, and that would be, that would have been amazing. But we didn't have that where we were. And it just felt very hard to make deeper friendships in that stage because we were still in college. We did not have full-time jobs. We did not have kids. And some of the people that we had in the church group who were married they had the normal nine to five job. Some of them were pregnant. I think when we left our Sunday school group, there were eight couples who were pregnant 
and a lot of them already had kids, but some of them didn't, but still, eight couples who were pregnant, and we were not there yet because we were still trying to figure out college and all of that, so we were not having kids anywhere near that time, and so I don't feel like we really connected with much of the people there. I went to then go work for the college ministry where my husband and I met, and we really just did the college life as we were married. Um, but there's not like many super deep friendships we made in that time because it was just kind of an awkward time. And I've actually talked to other ladies who felt the same way. It's like, yeah, we were just so young. No one else was as young as us and married. And then it's just harder with friendships. And then also you can really make some deep, good friendships in college. And sometimes that just takes more time. Some people find that in their first year of college. And that is a blessing. Some people find it in their second. You may not get it until your fourth year. But uh, I would just say typically if you have a little bit more time and you want to deepen those friendships before marriage or you just want more of like the college experience. I'm not saying of like going out and dating and all that. I just mean like the college experience of going out with lots of other single people and hanging out with them. Um, you might want to wait to get married. Okay, so to conclude everything... Me getting married at 20, I do not regret it. In fact, most of the time, I recommend it. I recommend young Christian couples getting married if they feel like they have found the one who they are supposed to marry. And so I recommend getting married. These are all things to consider. And let me know below if you have any more questions. I would love to talk more about this.